Hi guys, Shaz here. Let's talk about leverage. We're talking about how to leverage things, your time, money, people, everything in your life to create true wealth. But before we go any further, please smash that like button because I know you're here, you've been finding this content helpful and it'll make me feel good, it'll make you feel good and I'll keep on creating content. So let's get into it. Let me give you the first example of leverage. I'm here recording these videos for the Mr. Shaz channel, right? And I probably do about 20 hours a week at the minute and that's because I'm setting up the processes, doing a lot of filming, still discovering, you know, my niche. I put in 20 hours, right? And there's a gentleman behind this camera saying right there, he puts in about 37.5, 40 hours a week. And then there's an editor called Mars who also puts in about 40 odd hours a week. So for every 20 hours I do, these guys are doing 80 odd hours. So that's me leveraging those guys to grow this channel faster than I could alone. And you know what? We're still hiring editors and other people to help with research and etc. and etc. etc. So this could turn into for every 20 hours I do at the minute, the other guy is doing 160 hours. And then I might be able to cut it down once I've got all the processes in place to 10 hours a week of me filming. And these guys are still doing like 160 or maybe we get another guy 200 hours. So what, what would happen there? For every one hour I do, these guys would be doing 20 hours and that's how you leverage people and money to really grow fast. This leverage is the same for the business I run called Ace Viral. I'm the CEO of that. So in Ace Viral, right, we've got designers, programmers, team leads, managers, artists. I leverage their time as well to grow that business. So for every hour that I put in, my team puts in 50 hours and that's the only way you can truly create wealth where for every hour you put in, your team puts in a lot more hours. And you know, what do I do? I'll do the planning of what we're going to do next, dealing with wages, uh, hires, and the accountants basically. And the guys do the rest of the stuff and just, you know, uh, I hold them accountable by having meetings and they tell me what's going on, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, when I first started out, I also used leverage in there, but it was a different kind of leverage. I wasn't using stuff that I'd hired as leverage. So I used to have some websites, I used to get, uh, you know, games made by programmers abroad. That was leverage. Then later on, in my games, it would say, do you enjoy this game? To play more games like this, press here, and it would take all these players to my site. So how was I leveraging it? I was leveraging the BBC, Channel 4, Microsoft MSN, or whatever it was called then, and the Yahoo. We would give these games away free. These games would end up on all of these large sites people would be playing them and it would say, do you want to play more games? Click here. When they did, they ended up at Flash Games 247, which was my first successful online business. And uh, you know what? I would make money from those people. So I had leveraged all these big sites. So there's different ways of leveraging people or things or time or you know resources. Another way you can leverage is by using your money for investments. So what else I do is I invest in startups. And in those startups, right, it's like a two-way door. It's always a two-way door, right? So when I've got employees and I'm leveraging them to grow the business, they want a salary, so I pay them and they give me their time. So you know they're leveraging me for money and I'm leveraging them to make a bigger business. So it's the same with your investments, right? Uh, especially the ones I do with startups. I give them money and they need money to grow that business. So what happens is somebody comes along, they've already got a business that's going and it's a startup and they pitch to me and I give them some money. What they do with that money is they grow that business at a breakneck speed or use it to do things that they need to do or you know buy items, whatever they do, right? And in return, they grow my money. Well, I hope they grow my money and don't go bust, right? So I give them money, they grow my money, they grow their own business as well, they're growing their own money. And one of the other things I do is I mentor guys who run businesses with me. And you know what? This is leverage once again, and it works for both sides. So guys come to me and they say, Shaz, I'm starting a business. Can you mentor me? And can you invest? And we go and we start a business. Then what happens is I transfer as many skills from me to them and my contacts and some money. So what happens is you might get an entrepreneur, right? And he's just starting off, say he's like 25 years old. He's just starting off in business and this is the curve that would usually happen. I'll try and draw this curve on there for you. So he'd start off here, 
and it go like this and here we go that's to like success Sit, call that like 10 million dollars with me helping them what happens is i give them like two to three hours of my life and you know what where their curve would went like this it goes yeah you like that sound that was not a sound effect that was me right so it goes like that and basically the things that they might have learned over a 10 year period i hope to teach them all of those in three to five years and you might think right Shaz, you know what they were going to learn that in 10 years time and you've taught them in three to five years and five years is only half of that but here's what you gotta realize right if you get to the age of 30 and you know how a 35 year old thinks or a 45 year old thinks or a 50 year old thinks you are now going at like exponential speed you're going so fast your acceleration is so fast that you're basically going to have more success so when i'm mentoring these guys and instead of taking 10 years to learn something they learn it in five or three what happens is they've still got plenty of runway to make their life a success or the business a success let me put it this way right imagine you're 20 years old and you're with me for five years and what ends up happening is by the age of 25 you have the brain or like the financial brain of a 35 year old but you're only 25 you've already started investing you've already got some money saved up you're already maybe failed a few businesses and hired a load of people and sacked a load of people and you know i had to do everything within those five years time your growth has been tremendous so my mentees are there leveraging me you know what happens after that some of these guys outgrow me and i've got one guy who's like a rocket ship i love him he probably might watch this and he's i feel like he's outgrown me but he's still around he's like shaz you know what we're going to do I want to work with you for the rest of my life because I enjoy working with you. But I feel like I've helped him learn so much in four years that, you know, alone, he would have still done it, but it might have took him 12 years. So I've accelerated his growth and he's going to pay back by working with me for the rest of my life. Right, guys, thank you for watching. Don't die average. Please like and subscribe. And if you do like, I'll donate some money to charity. And you know what? Have a great day.